MCL cafeteria employees will be losing their jobs at the end of this month. After over 50 years of service, the Comfort Food Restaurant will be closing its doors. The restaurant and bakery is a popular meeting place for groups and civic organizations. Regulars say they're sad to see the longtime restaurant close. The city of West Lafayette is losing a legacy. Oh, it's just a tradition, you know, and for us it's, as I said, once a week for 45 years. The Noon Optimist Club isn't the only local organization that will be losing their meeting spot come the end of January. Oh, we're certainly disappointed because we've enjoyed being here um, and we're going to have to look around for another location pretty quickly. Members of the Kiwanis Club say they've been meeting at MCL since the 90s, but the restaurant has been a part of the community for over 50 years. There are a lot of regular here. If you come nightly or on a regular basis, you will see some of the same people here time after time. So to certain people, this will be a shock. While this may come as a surprise to people who frequent MCL, city officials say they've known about other plans for a while. With uh, commercial corridors like this, we have seen uh, a lot of interest and I know that the landlord has been talking to a number of groups uh, since it became clear to him that MCL was not going to be signing a new lease. While Carlson couldn't give specifics about what restaurant will be taking MCL's place, he did say it's something the community is familiar with. It's our understanding that uh, a lease has been in negotiations and should be signed here shortly, and it's a, what I can say is it's, from our understanding, a restaurant that exists elsewhere in this market that has been very popular and is looking to expand. MCL's last day of business will be January 19th, but as the well-known establishment closes its doors, regulars hope it's remembered as a community mainstay. I think it's the people that are here and, of course, our membership and the, the joy of camaraderie and so forth. Well, management says they are closing due to a lack of business, and MCL says it's doing its part to help find their employees new jobs. As for the new restaurant that will take MCL's place, the economic development director says it should be able to announce the new tenants in the coming weeks.